Hello, welcome back. Last time I explored the desert a little bit and then ended up in a castle on the other side of the world. And this has my curiosity. I want to see what's going on in this room. I did a quick little parse of this. This sign just tells me about not having hands or something. Yeah. Uh, okay. Alright, so there's a lot going on. What does this switch do? Lots of things. Well, three things. Open some doors. It's the only thing that opens any of those doors. So that's my way out after I enter from here. And I'm gonna have a lot of packing problems on the way in. Okay, cool. I more or less see how this will play out. Do I need to get a statue out of there? Maybe. Okay, so that's just the corner of the room I happened to look at first. This needs to open. Someone needs to sit there. And they need to do it continuously, and I suspect it's one of these two. If it is the monster block, it has to be cooked first. Okay. There's a block barrier there, which is a bit curious. Might mean something. There's one here, which definitely means something. Right, now, in my initial look at the room, this was kind of weird. Because... I either have to vault over this and... No, that's impossible. I can't hit that from up high. So I have to vault over the... Wait, no. Those just open... Okay, those do just open, but I need somebody to help me hold this op... Is that what one of these statues is for? But then how am I getting... No, I have to vault over this barrier. This is for traversing the room after I've cleared it. This is something for me to jump over in the process of clearing the room. And if I'm jumping over, I can't have a friend with me, can I? Well, I'm gonna have to find a way because I need one to get through here. Wait, no I don't. No, I don't need to go in, kill, and back off. I can just go in, kill, kill, and leave. Yeah, yeah, this lets me back out. Okay, so no vaulting is happening. Except it is kinda here because this is an elevation mechanism. I'm doing something with it. Somebody is stacking. Is it these two on top of each other? Maybe. Because it might be, yeah, stack those up, put them here, and then... Mm. Anyway, I think this bomb bug blows up here. Which would mean I need to scare it. Which is actually kind of a problem. I need to scare it multiple times. It can't turn this corner, so it's going through this way then. Okay, that's fine. So, ignoring everything else for a moment. Let's just get that little friend roughly in the position where I want it. Okay, that part is no issue. I'm here now, so I needed to have had this in a comfortable spot. For me, not for the bumbug. There we go, that's cool. Alright. I can burn that. I need to deal with this statue at some point. Let's do it this way. I imagine there's a reason not to do this, but let's, um... Oh. Uh, that's fine. I can get this all where it needs to go. And I still have another block here for whatever I want it for. Okay, well, this seems a lot simpler on the second parse than it did on the first one. Let's imagine the rest of this is just a packing problem. There's probably more to it, but what if there's not? Maybe it's that simple. Alright, I'm alive. I've tapped the thing. Right, but don't I need to jump over this? I do need to jump over this, and that's what this was for, maybe. Hmm. 
Okay, so theory is the way I would use you would look something like... Like this or so? Sure, that works. Okay, well I'm here. That port's no problem except it required two blocks, and I have to have something on this. And the something that goes there is not coming back. That's definitely not coming back. Even if theoretically there's some diagonal stuff that could happen... Oh, are you so sure about that? So what if the bomb bug blows up here, and I bring a statue out to help me push this thing back out so I can use this thing. Push block two. Bring it back out so I can use it later here. Maybe that's what I'm doing. Let's see how that would work out. You go there-ish. You just kind of sit here where you are. Now, there are some problems. Several of them, actually. Big sign in my face. So yeah, problem number one, you just blow up, and problem number two, there's no space to put a scary sight line here. Like, this is a block barrier. If it wasn't, there were things I could do. I could imagine... Yes, I could imagine. Okay, let's try something a little different. See, but then there's nobody to push me in here. What I was thinking is to reverse these two, put the monster block on top of the statue, walk it here, kill it so that that goes on the block barrier, which I could do. Then leave the bomb bug in so it would go there, blow it up so that this goes away, and later push things through here. And the pusher for that could also push this back out. Uh, yeah, they could, that's true. I think that would happen? I think a statue trying to go this way and then deciding to go vertical would end up pushing a thing out of that spot, even if they couldn't traverse that location. However, Then I have nobody to later taxi me there, which I'm pretty sure it is supposed to be you. Okay, so bomb bug routing. I need an explosion here so this is destroyed. An explosion here would destroy both of these handily. But explosion there doesn't look very realistic. It's certainly not happening from this angle. There's no place where I can push this up, then let it rest, and then push it over to get the bomb bug down here, and even if I did, that would mean you resting on hot coals for a turn. Hmm. That looks pretty unrealistic as a solution. Could I, instead of bringing you here, have... One of these follow me out? No way. Mm, you remember 36 pillars? I did that sort of thing here. Oh, all my markings. <laughs> uh, hmm. I don't think this window means anything in particular. This one certainly doesn't seem to. 
This one does. What's with this door? So I have a conflict. Where was... what was my best attempt? Do I still have that in my buffer here? Yeah, so it looked like this. I was there with nobody to bring me over here. See, I need not only a statue, but also its... Block, I think? Yeah. It's kind of suspicious that there's like all this extra stuff here. I'm wondering if there's some crafty way I'm supposed to like buffer the statue in this little pit and do something with it. I don't see how that would work though. Seems best to just put my block here and my statue there. But that requires still having both. So during this attempt here, that block did nothing. Hmm. Whoops. Oh. So what I did here wasn't anything special. Hey, wait a second. Well, no, I can't do it now. Because whatever I do... Whoa. Uh, let's change that back, actually. Yeah. Ah. Floor, yes. Mm. I mean, again, it was nothing special I did there. And I input a reset, so that's just going to stay. That's fine. Okay, so... Resource management. Somehow I need to not just waste the statue. Oh, second... It, well, that's actually not an issue, the fact that it's on a monster block. It just means it needs to spend some time on some hot coals for a moment. There, so now you're compatible with the end of this room. Which seems to look like this. So for this movement pattern, I require the statue to be asleep and another free push block. I mean, I'm not getting up high with it in that hole. If it's there, it's just going to escape immediately. So is it that I want to blow this up? Alright, if I did, this would have to blow up at the same time, so there's exactly two positions and you certainly can't get here. So bomb bug exploding there, is there any way that could happen? By putting a monster block here. But that requires things I can't have. As far as I can tell, at least. really would need the monster block there, wouldn't I? Okay, let's imagine I had that. I don't think I'm getting any of these statues out. Okay, so let's evaluate that part of this then. Just again ignoring the rest. Put this off to the side. Bring you out. 
bring you over, bring you up. You get scared, you blow up. This happens, and then... Right, so I want to see if there's any possibility of getting a statue from here on the outside. Doesn't look like it to me. Maybe Statue D. That's the one I can awaken theoretically from the greatest distance. Uh, no, not if I'm getting in here to deal with this. So I'm dropping that trapdoor to go in there. Do I? Again, this door... Yeah, I don't know. I think something's happening here. What statue did I choose? That might still be fine. That might still be fine. That's not... break this and try to pull this statue through here down that way through here which might mean I don't want to break that I don't think that helps me even if I do it And then what's this one even doing? Nothing. Hmm. Okay, but right, I'm just trying to evaluate whether it's reasonably possible to get a statue out of here. So let's forget about this one for a moment. See if there's another one I can somehow attract. Ooh, what if I entombed one just kind of now-ish? Nobody is entombable, are they? No, especially not now. Also, I got myself stuck. Kind of looks like this is exactly how this needs to go. Yeah, you forced me to step all the way up here. Okay, so if it's possible to get a statue out of there, it's certainly not easy. But right now, if I just had this block, I'd be fine. But uh, right now, didn't my other strategy that got this block back also require getting a statue out? I think I need one of these. Like, one way or the other, the only two ways I've seen to do this require one of these. Because I have nothing else to put on here. Like, there's this statue, the statue's block, and the other block. The bomb bug is gone at that point, and there's nothing else on this side of the room. Although, now hang on, I'm... I don't need that yet. Ow. 
Yeah, so I don't ever need to break this. It's possible it's important that I don't. Check it out. This is a sightline blocker. Block barrier here being possibly relevant. You go way over... Not a lot of appealing spaces. Let's imagine that could be acceptable. Well, that's not going to work. Also, nobody ever got on this plate. That's in a corner, so I can't kill a statue there. Not without assistance, and there's nobody to assist me here. But, now let's go back a little bit. Ooh! Hi. That's important. You're on there! can't keep you there, but you're on there. If you had two friends, maybe I could. Except, s still, no, not really. But, what you could do is try and push a block that's there through this space. Okay, yeah, just like, all the stuff seems to be pointing at Bombug in this spot. Push that block back out through here. Because this is kind of suspicious. I mean, there's one there, but this one looks useful. And the proximity to the other thing I want to blow up really feels like I want an explosion here. That's the most explosion-looking one of these. Uh, I don't know. That. That's shaped like an explosion. Sure. Okay. So white circle marks explosion spot. There's just no plausible way to push a monster block, even if I... Yeah, no, like, there's, there's several reasons monster block cannot be up here scaring a bomb bug south. So, what I need... Whoops! <laughs> what I need is... Right here, I need, yeah, you, the purple rectangle. That's gotta go there. Okay. But how does this go there? That's a block barrier. So you have to approach from above. Above could be on top of this statue. Okay, so then... Maybe the one that pushes the block out of here, or another one, can multitask and be my pusher later. So let's go back to the idea of that I want to swap around my configuration. Well, there's a reason to break this, and that's if I want to get a block through here, and I do, so I have a reason. This is too wide, so explicitly this is a stacking mechanism, not just an elevator. I will be stacking something here. Hi, Bombug, you've seen me. How cute. Uh... Mm. Ooh. Well, I guess I'm noticing... It doesn't mean anything. Let's pretend for a moment, though. Something that I've spotted. I would have to make a sacrifice for this. And I can't even make that sacrifice. 
I was gonna stand here, and then you would awaken. I don't think that's relevant for anything. I also don't think I can do it. But do know this thing's sightline does continue through that window at this elevation. Doesn't matter, none of that's happening. And also it doesn't seem too useful. So I could put you on top of the inert block. Sure. Unless the bomb bug's carrying so oh. No, that's not gonna work. But if now I could push from a higher altitude, south, yeah, just like, jump up and use those paws, no. Mm -hmm. It would go on the block barrier, like you can do that from above. It's a thing that can happen. Let's have the bum bug carry something. Here. Here's another way. This won't be right, but it'll be something. <laughs> Sign, you're so noisy. Okay, sure, bum bug carrying. I mean, I still can't get the bum bug in that spot, so that doesn't help anything. But, like, this can go on a block barrier. See, it's on there. somebody carries, then it has to be pushed off. I'm not carrying. There might be a way to put something on my head, but I don't want it there, right? I don't think I do. How do I get the monster block here? Like, am I absolutely convinced that's what I want to do? This is very conspicuous. This is a very appealing spot. I want an explosion there. I can awaken this statue from a distance and have it try to push, push something through here. Like that's totally a thing I want to make happen. This is interesting. What could that mean? The fact that this door opens. Yeah, there's an alternative, which is that maybe I avoid awakening you this entire time by what? Stashing something here? That's impossible. Yeah, I'd have to kill a statue there, which I cannot do. No, if I'm going in here this way, I'm coming out that way, and that means you are awakening, unless there's a... There could be a sightline blocker. Yeah, I have a free block for a moment there. Okay, so I could put a block here. By pulling you out of the... Okay, hang on, let me make sure I'm saying things that are actually true. So, this part of the room again. Too hot there. Just ignore what's going on here for a moment. And bring this in. I guess that means I need to ditch you at a spool. I guess I can bring you all the way over here, that's fine. That spot's not being used in Ah! Anymore. Oh! <laughs> Don't put that there. Let's leave it here. Okay, so that preserves you for quite some time. 
And I still have this block. Ah, that's looking kind of good. Don't need any of those spaces in particular. I'm not doing anything with them. Am I? I mean, if I'm coming out here... Then that's still meaningless, because if the sight line's blocked from there, then I can just exit this way just fine. I don't know what this door is for. Feels like it must have a purpose, but I don't know what that is. So if I'm here, I bring you out to do your job. Mm -hmm. Let's pretend you've done your job now. And at this point, I have all of these things. Yeah, okay, so if you had done that job, if that had been blown up... I still have a problem. If I put a monster block here, then that's stuck. That needs extra assistance to get out. And I don't have the sightline blocker here, then, to do that part of the task. So then... Do I just do this much earlier, then? Sure, why not? Because that could also have... fulfilled that part of the bargain. If I put you in a different place... Well, let's just not even kill that yet. So sure, that part of the room's no problem. I don't think any of these statues are doing anything useful. It's just you. Statue A and Statue K. Need my A and my K. Alright, but again, let us I'm just sort of pretending that this is blown up and that there's a block here. Statue A is now... Well, actually, I'd have to go all the way there and it's right against me. Hmm. That might not work as well as I hoped. You're now here. You're now there and that block has moved. Is this when I'd use this door? Yeah, with this shattered, that would be f fine, I think? Well, but no, I'm doing this very early, so I can't... Um. Right, I just need to imagine some statue pathing here. South, south, you are here now and definitely getting to me. West doesn't do any better, so that's you here, block there, you here, 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 there. So that converges to the same thing. So if I'm doing that, I think I'm pushing this out first, then bringing you around somehow? Okay, I maybe see how to do that. So making those moves means block is moved up there and is free. You're at that bracket. And this lets... Mm, it doesn't let me walk in there. Well, I can change your bracket. That uh -huh. uh, didn't help. Well, now hang on. This would mean I can go in here and scrape you off, keep on going around, and pull the block that was there out this way. This is a lot of coincidences. It seems like this is what the room wants me to do. The problem is I can't put the monster block here. There's a block barrier. Okay, so then what about... Let's put things the other way around. What if the bomb bug rides a block? 
That should be possible, right? I think. Might be tricky. I need that in place earlier, I think. the classic problem of you'll just step all the way off here. Oh, not immediately. It's still gonna happen. But later than I expected. Can't get there in time. Can't hold this down with anything else. up here myself. Eh, sure, but no. Even if Bombug were riding a block, I would need this up high in a place I can't get it unless it's on my head, and if it's there it's not coming off because there are no waypoints in the room and no nothing else that's gonna pull it off of me. There's no other fancy way to get something onto a block barrier, right? It either starts there, or it falls from above. Those are the only ways I know. Falling from above can mean... Dropped by a ferret who waypoints away, dropped by a statue who dies, dropped by another monster who dies. There aren't any other monsters around here, though. And if this statue dies, well, first of all, I would have to have stacked the block on it in the first place, and that's pretty hard to do. I mean, let's see if that's at all plausible. Like, it's not completely implausible. Let's pretend that this is the monster block. Whoa. So that would mean I want you angry and here. To do that, I could do this. Okay, well that's not hard. And then continuing pretending that's the monster block. I would want to have broken different cracked walls than that. If I break just those two. Ah, so this lets me push blocks from, oh, from right to left, but not the other way around. Ah, but it awakens a statue if it's on one. Okay, well, let's break this, but not that, then. You go here, you can get where I wanted you. Well, which is actually just there. Still not gonna work. Doing this is no better. And ultimately, for this to work all the way... That's kind of close, but close doesn't count. I need better than close. I need it to actually be there. Also, I would have to pull you off, get that monster block away from you, and put it on your head. Like, really? Do you think that's going to happen? I kind of don't. Okay, well, I've had some ideas. I see something that could work if I could do it, I just don't think I can do it. But yeah, there's just too many coincidences, like this is 100% intentional. It has to be. And this sure looks intentional to me. Yeah, so I got the general shape of what I want to do, it's just that I'm, I'm missing a piece somewhere. Because I can't make everything connect up together. Okay, well, that was fun to parse, at least. 
Hopefully I'll be able to do it all the way at some point. I guess that's as deep as we're going in the castle for now. I feel like I should put in some more time on these at some point, but I have lots of other options, so maybe I'll look at more fruitful things. Alright, well, next time, probably going over back to the desert and doing desert things, I think.